There we go. Crosswind was a little, had a little bit of crosswind there, not too much, but enough to make it interesting. You know, I didn't even look at the speed of that uh, universal uh, when I was flying, and that was one of the main things I wanted to make sure that it was as fast as this uh, power atlas. Uh, and the power atlas probably isn't normally a fast way, but when you load it up like it is, it's uh, pretty quick. I mean, I'm going 32 here. It's going to take me a little bit before I can kind of compare them both, uh, to which ones, uh, you know, uh, I like more. Uh, I know that the power atlas is harder to, to pull when I want to turn, but the other one seemed like it was a lot easier. Here. About 5,000 RPMs and about 645 feet up, about 29 miles an hour. And we're getting a little, it's not butter by any means, but it will be butter later on. It's really going to smooth out. I'm going to make sure that I put a jacket on and I've got some battery life. And really, when you're flying by yourself, uh, you know, you really don't need that speed, but uh, cross country, when you're flying with a few people, it's it's nice to be, uh, you know, not be the guy that everybody's waiting on. And uh, I haven't been that, but I also haven't been the fastest. So, and I'm not trying to be faster than anybody else. I just want to keep up with them or uh, be in close proximity so that uh, they don't have to circle all over the place waiting for me. And the one good thing is that most of the guys that I fly with are ones without speed wings or anything, but uh, but I think everybody that flies uh, BPG, they know uh, what I mean about uh, just trying to keep up with their buddy. And those that don't have a buddy to fly with, or buddies to fly with, uh, boy, it's uh, really nice to fly with uh, somebody else, or at least have the uh, the opportunity to fly with somebody else. And there's a buzzard right over there, just circling around. The uh, brakes on the Universal uh, feel different. you got to get kind of used to those, uh, the way uh, they're designed. Uh, I, I can't give you a, a plus or positive, but uh, they're different. They're a little bit uh, maybe smaller, firmer, I don't know, just different. The magnets are strong. I think I said that already. Uh, once I figure out where they. I feel comfortable where I can just look up and put them on there. Uh, I didn't uh, let them go at all. Since uh, the first flight with it, I pretty much went on to everything. And I think I had a pucker, pucker factor of uh, at least eight, and it calmed down, got a little bit lower once I was in the air and kind of felt it out. I want to figure out the trims really well and uh, where to set those at. Uh, like to have a nice uh, today's a nice day but uh, a day where just a little bit more time on it I can get up and practice with it do some tip steering and uh, 
put the trims out and see what the reflex does. And the A's are, uh, the A assist are sagging really well, so we're not getting any pull on those, so that's set up real nice. Uh, there's been a lot of talk of whether to use A assist or what have you. Uh, I, I, I don't have problems uh, using it, but and uh, the line's getting in the camera, in my camera way or whatever, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I'm more about the mic. Getting a good take off. And this assist helps. It may be like having training wheels. I don't know. I'm okay with that. Because once I'm in the air, this is where it's at, right up here, and uh, really enjoyable. And uh, later on in a month or less, the weather gets it's up in the 60s, probably about 70s today. Uh, but uh, when it gets warm, t-shirt weather, and you get up there in the evening, and oh boy, it's beautiful, just beautiful. Boy, I wish I'd have done this a long time ago. I wish, you know, a lot of things I wish I'd have done a long time ago. But, uh, you know, uh, this is something that uh, even older folks can enjoy. And, you know, and it's not, uh, at least on a trike, it, it, it isn't going to break your legs, wear you out. I think the next time I fly that uh, Universal will probably be a later evening flight when it's uh, real smooth or early morning and uh, a little butter just uh, so I can feel a little bit more confident and uh, just kind of feel it out. I can tell it's a lot bigger than this one. This 28 meter and uh, I think that's a 33, 34 meter. Uh, and uh, so you can just tell it just has a, a big smoother lift on it. Universal seemed like it was gliding uh, pretty good, uh, but uh, that pucker factor, it's hard to tell for me. I coming in about 32 right now and uh, I'll get her down here and keep the motor running and I'll flare here right about here in that hole there and then try to get over here by this there we go 